Hey, this is College Talk TV, and it's your host, Chris Holly. Today I'll be talking about why I became an atheist. Alright, where should I start off at? Well, when you want to tell a story, it's best to start off in the beginning. So, the beginning of a life is childhood. So, basically, when I was younger, I grew up in a, I wouldn't say religious household, but there was still a Bible, and I still knew of, like, Jesus and those fairy tale stories and stuff like that and I sort of read the Bible as other like the green eggs and ham story Jack and the Beanstalk and like those stories right there were the same as reading the Bible to me because the Bible's stories and fables and fairy tales and stuff like that is all the same so I didn't really see any difference and when I was in middle school, I started going to church on my own, right? So I just started going to church trying to question, you know, trying to learn some stuff and this and that. And I went to a church in Akron called The Chapel. It's about uh, seven, 8,000 people there. It's a, probably the biggest church in Summit County. And I just started to go in there to their middle school and high school service for about five years. And from the get-go, I was very, very, very skeptical about just everything they talked about such as the Noah's Ark story with the man has a boat and like post like I mean pre BCE era and has all the the animals on the planet in one boat and it, the boat's like not even bigger than a yacht and he goes to all these different places and he rounds up all these animals and they fits them on a boat and has enough food for 40 days and 40 nights because it rains and God, I, I guess the God in the Christian Bible floods the planet and kills everybody, which is to me sort of sick and people want to follow that religion, but hey, I, I mean, if I would, if, and then also, if I, if I could choose to be, be with Hit, be like, you know, be around Hitler for a month or I guess Jesus or his daddy for a month, I'd probably want to be around Hitler because if you think about it, Hitler only killed maybe World War II, the 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 the, rate, the 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 it was probably about 50 million people who died during World War II, right? And that's like soldiers and stuff like that. So he's sort of responsible for that many, because there's six million people who died in the Holocaust. But if you want to look at how many people died in total, but if you think about it, that was that might have been like what maybe two percent of the world's population who might have died. But in those times, I know it might have not have been 50 million people, but God killed or the God in the Christian Bible killed. The whole, everybody, women, children, like like 99, he killed almost everybody on the planet except for six people. So when people say that, you know, how is this God being moral, or like how is, how like when people say that God is very moral, I I can't comprehend that because from what I seen in the Bible, I because I read the Bible from front to back, like I didn't just pick and choose, pick this one, oh, this sounds good, and, and then, you know, oh, oh, yeah, you know, God didn't really mean that. And just like, no, if, if I want to be a part of something, I want to follow everything in the in the rule book. You know, like, if you want if you want to play basketball, you can't just hold the ball for two or three minutes. You know, if you want to play a game, you better play it right. So, and I look at that the same way with anything else. So, if, if I, if, if you, if people really want to, you know, talk about the Bible, if you look at it, it's like, it's, 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 to me, it's, very, it's a very sick book because, you know, like, genocides all throughout it. Um, uh, what else? Like, it, it, it's, it, it endorses slavery. Like, it tells you how to beat your slaves. And as an African-American in America, and, you know, they actually used that during slavery to justify what they were doing. So that's something else I look at, too. If you, and if you look at statistics, black people in America are way more religious than any other category and I find something wrong with that like for a black person in America to be a Christian is like a Jew wanting to be a Nazi but hey that's my opinion because if you look how we how our ancestors got here and you want to like worship something that you know makes slavery sound okay and then don't try to say that oh that's not what Jesus is about no because that's because if you think about it I, I, all right, I won't even get into that's I, that's a whole entire another video, but and also following why I'm an atheist is because uh, I my major as well has some something to play into it because uh, as an electrical engineer, I have to like I look at stuff as like okay this is the reason why this happens not some sky daddy 
snapping his fingers and bam, there was light. Oh, because the Big Bang Theory makes a lot more sense um, than, oh, some uh, fairy tale ghost person up in the up in the clouds saying oh there was light and clapping his hands and stuff and now all everything's the way it is and you know that was six thousand years ago which is complete bs because everybody like scientists have proven that the world's 4.5 billion years old and there's so much evidence to back that up i mean you can fill up libraries with how with the amount of evidence and you know academically peer-reviewed journals of a uh, of how old the earth is and the Chris, Christian, Christians one book about maybe this thick and that's it you know written 2,000 years ago by people who had caveman intelligence so I'm I'm not buying that either so but uh and then also like college you know like it really does open your mind to a lot of stuff and and like it's, when I when I used to like go to church, like they would say, you know, because they would always say if you don't believe in Jesus and He's our Savior, then you're going to a bad place like hell. And it's like, well, there's plenty of people who are not Christians, and they've done way more than any Christian has ever done. Like Bill Gates has has probably he's donated more money than any other person in history, and he and he's an atheist. And like you know, when people want to say, oh, atheists have no morals, like. I don't. I don't see no. I. I mean, I do see Christians, you know, going to other countries, but like he. He has like all this money. And he donated, it and it's like, and he, it's not some sky daddy telling him to like. And then also when people say that with the Ten Commandments, you know, if 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 God didn't break the Ten Commandments, uh, you know, why why not just kill each other? Well, that's that's freaking stupid because then us as a species when it exists, um, you know, like you see piranhas in a tank. Yeah, if you throw throwing some meat in the tank or something, yeah, they'll, they'll eat it up. But you don't see them eating each other, do you? No. Because that's just, like, as a society, we would eventually we would just say, hey, let's not kill each other. Let's not steal our stuff. You know, let's not take each other as women. Eventually, you know, as a, as a, as we get, as we become more of an advanced society, you know, that's just going to just be something that we come up with on our own. And... But also, you know, I also looked at other religions like Islam, and when I look at Islam, I feel it's like a womanizer, or not a womanizer, but a, like, what's a mis miscongenuous uh, religion or something where it's, they treat women, like, really, really badly. Like, if you go to all these Middle Eastern countries, they treat their women like dirt. If a woman gets raped over there, she she's, a uh, it's her fault, and she has to marry the rapist. That's, that's sick. And, you know, I... I don't. I'm I, as a more as a moral person. I, I can't agree upon that. So that's why I stayed away from Islam. And also, their their uh, prophet.